The Nikon D850 is a 45 megapixel DSLR camera. It is a backside illuminated sensor, ISO range from ISO 64 to 25,600. It has an amazing dynamic range, enabling you to capture all of that detail in the highlights and shadows. It has seven frames a second, so it means it's perfect for sports, wildlife, weddings, portraiture, landscapes, still life, macro. This is the consumer all-round camera. It can pretty much do anything. The D850 has a lot of useful features as well. Let's take a look at some of the main ones you could use. If you are in live view, one of the most useful features is a combination of pressing the OK button and using your info button. If you press your info button, you scroll around varying different displays. But if you also press the OK button, your exposure bar comes up here. By having the exposure bar visible in live view, you can easily fine tune your exposure now. That's whether or not I'm using the exposure compensation button here, as the camera is in aperture priority mode, would work the same if it's in shutter priority mode, or if I was in manual mode, I would be using my rear and front dials to shift the aperture and shutter speed accordingly. If we press the info button again, we'll actually get a real-time histogram, which again, can be useful to seeing if you're working on a bright day and to see if we've clipped any highlights or opened up all the shadows to get ourselves a perfect exposure of the image. Another great way to use the camera is to use My Menu. Let's look at setting that up now. We press the Menu button, we navigate to the very bottom symbol down here, we now come across and now we add the items we use the most out of all of the other menus. I'm going to add ISO sensitivity settings to my menu. Add items. I know it's in the photo shooting menu. There it is, that's on the second page. And let's add the auto ISO sensitivity control here. Press OK, press OK again. And now you can see the top item in my menu is auto ISO sensitivity control. We can continue adding various features from all of the different menus to make up your own menu here. So think of it like an internet's favorite or a bookmark of all your useful features. Makes it really easy to control the camera. Another lesser known feature on the D850 is your ability to control and limit which focusing point you want to be able to select. Let's have a look how we do that. By going into the menu, we go to custom settings, which is the pencil symbol. We go to A, which is autofocus. And we go to A9, which is limit AF area mode selection. And what we can do here, as you can see, everything that is ticked is available for us to select from our holding in the button on the side of the front of the camera here and rotating our front and back dials. However, if we know we never use some of these modes, what we can do is go down here and just take the tick away from them. I never use these modes on the camera here. And I never use auto AF. And there we go. So those are the only ones now which are ticked, which will actually come up in my menu when I display and I want to change my autofocus points. So it's a very quick way of navigating through the autofocus points when you want to change them. The D850 has 153 focus points. You can also shoot 4K video. Dual card slots, one SD card slot, one XQD card slot. You also have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which enables you to upload your images via our SnapBridge app to your smart device or tablet. You can get your images onto social media really quickly that way. 